Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I must apologize for a previous video, which was how to stop the new Google Chrome download bubble from being the default choice. A lot of people like to see their downloads along the bottom of the taskbar area, and I personally do as well. Maybe you do, that's why you found this video, or potentially you've come to this video from the previous video, so my apologies for wasting your time on there. Unfortunately, Google appeared to have changed the flag system, so that particular fix no longer works. But we've got a new one, so don't worry. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're on our Windows desktop here, and this is the string which we're going to need to add to the end of the executable for Google Chrome. Now, just to show you what happens, so if we open up Chrome, go to AMD drivers, we'll click on download, and we'll start the download. And you can see it appears in this top section here, which some people don't like. I'm personally not keen on it. I prefer to have it at the bottom here so I can keep track of it. So let's uh, close that down. You can see it's downloaded. My default location for downloads is the desktop. So let's uh, delete that one. And now what we want to do, we actually want to add this string to the end of the executable. Now don't do it from a shortcut. If you've got any shortcuts, it won't work properly. So do it from the actual program itself. Uh, for me, I've got it actually pinned to Google Chrome here. So if I choose that, so we've got Google Chrome, the executable, right click on it and choose properties. Now what we can see, we have a target. So this is what tells the operating system what to run. So what we wanna do is go to the very end there after the two commas. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna just copy and paste this section here. Right click, choose copy. And what we're gonna do is get to the very end, press the space bar once to leave a space and then do control V or paste and add that section in. So it should read like that. So chrome.exe comma space, then the two minuses disable minus features equals download bubble. So it is basically disabling a feature called download bubble. When you're happy, click on apply and then click okay. And now if we open up Chrome again, we'll go to AMD drivers, click on drivers and support, download windows drivers, click save, and there we go, it is now at the bottom where it always should be. Happy days. If for some reason, when you do this, it still appears to be downloading from the top, you're probably doing it from a shortcut rather than the actual program itself. If you can't find it, just type Chrome, and then you can right click there and it will look like this. If you do it from a shortcut, it looks like this. So make sure that it looks right when you're actually doing it, so right click should only have those options available or minimal options. So there you go, pretty straightforward thing to do and it does put Chrome back to its kind of more default or at least what we're used to. So if you're someone who likes working like that, then you can do that. If you want to remove it, all you need to do is just delete those bits off the end after the commas and it'll go back to its default behaviors. As always, all of this will be in the video description. So the string itself will be fully written actually in the video description. So just copy and paste whatever part of it you actually need. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap this video up. If you've enjoyed it, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe hit the subscribe button and the chime notification, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.